So mind you all, it's now about 20 past five. I'm just heading down to the woodland clearing that I wrecked yesterday. Um, hoping this morning we can pick up some pie fly, some red start and some wood warble hopefully. I think they weren't calling yesterday due to the time of day and it's still quite early. Let's fingers crossed for a better day. Get down there, have a cup of coffee because I will be tired this morning. And uh, just chill out and see what happens. Well already the bird song is ten times what it was yesterday afternoon as expected. Um, got wrens, robins, thrush species, warblers, lots of black cap but not a lot of wood warbler yet and as I'm walking along the river here there's dippers zip, zipping up and down just seen one then just as I said it in this open clearing here um, oh, I love seeing a dipper in the morning they're great birds I'm not going to be able to pick it up on the GoPro but it oh I can hear it sing So I heard a very faint call of the dipper there. Um, if I've got time, I'm going to have to do some dipper photography, I think. Um, it's loads and loads of rocks here with lots of poo on. There are lots of wags, robins, and uh, dippers have landed. But I'd love to do a bit, if I've got time with dippers, maybe on Sunday afternoon or something. So. Uh, all been well, but onwards, let's get going. So, right on cue, just got to the outer edge of the territory that I um, usually frequent for the flycatchers and warblers, and straight away, right on this tree, right on the oak, on top, male pie flies singing away. Wasn't in full song, in fact, he's singing over there now. Which leads me to believe he's probably just arrived on territory because he's on top of the trees and he's flitting around calling like mad. So uh, maybe just an arrival overnight, don't know. But I'm going to get myself in a spot and uh, hope for the best. Just as I was going to record the sound, the uh, good old GoPro again failed at battery at 60%. So I'm thinking I might have to invest in some new batteries for Mull. I can have batteries failing at 60%. When I've got no means of uh, mains electric, even though I'm going to have something set up in the landy. But anyway, I'm going to get set up now in a good position that I know of, with plenty of perches, and uh, just wait it out and see what we can see. It's all set up, good to go. Um, I'm in a really nice clearing in here. Well, it's, um, there's quite a few nest boxes in here which are for pied flycatcher. I'm kind of away from most boxes. I don't want to get too close um, to stop them just carrying on. I found them year after year, they're quite tolerant really. I've been sitting here and they've been flying around in front of me. Um, not sure what it's going to be like when they're new on territory, I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. And if things go a bit quiet, I'll just back off and, and uh, go somewhere else and try something else. But um, yeah, it's bug central in here as well. Um, good practice for mull, I think. Um, I'll be here till hopefully about half 10, 11. So a good kind of four or five hours and uh, just see what happens really. Um, just enjoy the sounds, no people about, just me, the sound of the river, birds all around, yeah, nice way to start the day. At the moment the, um, the light levels are pretty bad, I think I'm shooting. So ISO 4000 at f4, it's wide open at 125th of a second. Um, so yeah, not, not the best setting so far, but as that sun comes up, 
and uh, it gets a bit brighter then obviously that will improve god these bugs in here are terrible I may put my uh, hood balaclava on just to not get them in my face so much because they're all finding me now so uh, yeah not that they bite me they're just annoying <laughs> anyway I go quiet now there's lots of birds flying overhead into the trees so. I just saw a little flash to my right and uh, looked over and there was a male pied fly just going straight into a bird box. Um, these are situated really low off the ground, that's what they prefer. Um, it flew in and flew back out again. Oh, it's great to see, properly see one that uh, it's too slow obviously to get it with the camera but it's good to see that it's in here prospecting, finding a, um, a suitable nest site for the female. Likely these birds have been here year after year. All their offspring come back and breed here. Oh, fantastic to see one. They're such smart birds. So, so far, we've had a pied flycatcher male in and out one of the boxes further over. And it seems to be flitting in and out. It's calling, coming back. Uh, there's a little robin flitting around as well. It's great to see that they're here and clearly shows that the females possibly aren't on territory just yet um, and they're just homing in and they're claiming their territory so we've got one here so happy days um, it's lovely to see them because they're usually up on the treetops calling away but to get them low down fl flitting around and then they sort of take off away again advertise it, that they're here and uh, then come back down again and just safeguard that that nest box but uh, oh, it's fantastic gnats are a pain in the ass but still um, hope we're going to get a shot of one at some point I don't know if you can hear that mewing sound although you might I think that's a buzzard, that's actually a jay mimicking a buzzard. It's not quite there, it's not quite strong enough. But they do like to do a lot of mimicry um, jays, especially the buzzard's mew. Yes. Get quite a lot of that at home with the jays at home. Funny though, really. Often with flycatchers, when you get your eye in, you're pretty much laughing. Um, but they do kind of frequent the same posts and the same um, branches and bits in their territory, so you can kind of predict where they're going to be. Um, took me a while to get my eyes adjusted this morning. <laughs> Didn't have a bad sleep, but. New mattress and all that, and the roof tent, but loving the roof tent, amazing. You can imagine that up in Mull on the shoreline, looking over the lock. I can almost, with a quadruple aspect from the roof tent, I could almost do some photography from there, um, right on the lock side. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, really excited about going in the roof tent, living out the landy. Yeah, should be real good. Just thought I videoed something a minute ago and real realised there we go. So glad I've found a, a flycatcher. Um, just got a little bit of video there, a bit flitting, calling. So there's a cracking hawthorn branch in front of me, which would be ideal for them to land on. 
I just moved positions again. Um, I wasn't really getting a good enough view through the trees, and uh, I think I was a little bit too close, so I've moved away further off. But I've got eyes on the box, and I've got the trees that it's been perching in nearby, so I'm hoping. Um, I mean, the bird knows I'm here. It's just whether or not it thinks I'm becoming a threat or not. And I'll know that shortly when the bird starts to resume. It's popping in and out, perching on the tree. If it does that, then happy days. If it doesn't do that, then I'll back away further um, until it starts to re-establish its routine. The last thing I want to do is upset the routine. <clears throat> as far as I'm aware, pied fly isn't now a, a scheduled bird um, but still being mindful of the sensitivity of them for the breeding season I don't want to get in the way and upset the balance there so so we've just had a, a marsh tit or a willow tit and I managed to get a shot of one and I've had the female pied flycatcher flying around just in this little area here. Um, just feeding up flycatching as you would as a flycatcher. But it's good, I think they've accepted me. I've, everything's settled down now. Me moving around, trying to get in location, it's never ideal, but staying quiet, not moving too much, and just not being tempted to fire off too many images, getting over excited, but um Well guys this vlog's not coming thick and fast at the minute. Um it is what it is but it's wonderful to be here. Um it's not like alive so much going on, it's like a feeding frenzy I mean there's I think these flycatchers have literally come on territory now and uh, it's good to see a female here and I think they're kind of establishing territories and they're certainly not on eggs yet and they're not feeding any young so um, I've been here before when they've been feeding constantly it's a hive of activity but I think it's a little bit early in the year um, which is a bit of a shame if I come maybe a week ten days later it could be different but you know it is what it is it's nice to see them arriving and, and feeding up fly that probably flew about 10 foot in front of me. Uh, got a lovely shot of it looking straight on. Um, and I just had a nice bit of footage of a female feeding in a hawthorn right in front of me. So uh, black cat calling at the back. So it's really nice. It's a very slow pace photography but extremely relaxing. I've got a pair of marsh tits to the left. Um, it's not full of life and it's not constant but it's really nice it just keeps you on your toes you've got to keep keep alert though because you switch off for a minute and then you're out of the game again it's um beautiful black cat there singing i haven't heard any wood warblers yet which is a real shame um still can't have it all but I think I've found out where the marsh tit's nest is. They keep bringing food in, so I guess they got young. Um, 
but it's lovely. Yeah, really, really nice. Very relaxed. A bit hungry, mind. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of heading back late morning, early lunch, have some food and then head off and hopefully try for maybe some dippers on the river. Um, all being well. from me in a minute. It's been amazing. Such a beautiful song. Lovely bird. There's two males in here at the moment. And they're singing away. The female's been tucking herself well out of sight. Uh, it keeps landing on a certain perch all the time. And uh, it's been lovely just to get some nice shots of it just singled out on a perch. Got an old dead log in front of me and I'm hoping for it to land on. And a female's been landing on there, but I haven't got this close to it. Um, I'm real close now, but they don't seem to mind me. I'm away from all the nest boxes now, which is great. Well guys, I think that pretty much concludes this morning's session with the uh, pied flies. Uh, it's been great, started off a bit slow, um, but gradually they got used to me and put on quite a nice display. Um, it just seems to be starting to kick now. So really, really pleased. And the marsh willow tits as well. Um, no red star and no wood warbler, but still, you know, really happy so far of what I've got. Um, it's been fantastic. It does seem to have gone a little bit quiet um, with the calling now and stuff. So I'm thinking head back, get some lunch, recharge some batteries and um, then head out maybe some dippers this afternoon. Um, all being well. But uh, yeah, cracking morning guys here in the uh, heart of the uh, Oak Woodland on uh, Exmoor National Park. <laughs>